Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Flat Earth Sage. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but uh, had something that I wanted to talk about today. Um, I just got my uh, grow light set up um, and I uh, wanted to give, let you guys check it out for yourself. Um, for you know anyone who's thinking about doing gardening um, what I'm planning on doing is doing an indoor garden and an outdoor which will be different from what I did last year um, even though I did have a little grow light this is this is beyond another level <laughs> um, so let me go ahead and show you what I got here going on wait hold on Oh, I'm trying to jeez. So what I got here is I got the grow light set up. This grow light and has a stand. Um and uh the light itself is um it it's about ten thousand lumens which is a lot <laughs> um, way beyond it's almost double that um, double the um, requirement for lumens um, so that's good um, also this uh, these lights are uh, run at about 6500 Kelvin um, so they're providing that sort of heat and right now I have man it's so sorry guys it's so bright it's hard for me to show you let me just take it out right here I got um this right here is ghost pepper and I got that growing in this little petri dish um I'm going to obviously take it out and put it in a bigger plant when it gets a little bit bigger um, I want want it to be I want to wait for it to grow a couple more inches before I transplant it um, so we got that growing there uh, seeds successfully I got seeds germinating too um, and shout out to uh, them I gardener for um, his video on the petri dish mes method which I did not know about um, so that's ended up working and I was able to germinate like three or four seeds um, uh, one of one of the as you can tell guys You see that one little tiny one that's like not doing anything and what I think has happened there is these two roots have strangled the root source of this one right here so that's why that's not growing any it's been like that for a couple days I'm probably just gonna snip that one because I already have two growing right here um, so I'm very pleased with that um we got that growing right there um and uh, also the good thing about these lights is I, you know, I was explaining in the beginning it's 6500 kelvin um that's uh putting my hand an inch or two underneath the light i can actually feel the warmth of the, of the lights um so that's perfect for growing peppers and the other thing is this right here this I got off Amazon and the seeds already come inside this material I don't exactly know what this material is some like foam or something I don't know what it is um, but uh, uh, I've heard mixed reviews about this product it was only like nine dollars so I was like hmm like some people say they have um, habanero 
plants grow from here. Some people have banana pepper plants grow from here. One guy had a radish growing from here. So I was curious to know what would grow. Because to me, in my mind, no matter what, if anything at all grows in this can, it'll be a success. It might not be a ghost pet. Uh, this is supposed to be Carolina Reaper pepper. Um, there's a possibility it might not be Carolina Reapers. But whatever it is, you know, will be completely fine and edible. Um, so it's just a little in in interesting experiment for me to see what happens. Um, so that's all good. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to like show you guys that. Um, and uh, I'm not sponsored at all by these um, by this company, but it's only been close I'd say close to a week since I've had this product. Um, and already it's done. I see significant changes. Um, it's awesome. Um, and like I said, I'm not, um, uh, what you call it? Uh, I'm not paid by them to promote their product or anything. Um, but if you guys want to check this out for yourself, uh, I got this as a birthday present from Amazon. Um, and it's called the, if you guys want to take a look and check it out and look at some reviews or whatever um, it's called the it's called lighting wise a four uh, double lux two t5 grow light um, and uh, yeah it's it's doing pretty well right now guys um, I'm definitely gonna keep everybody updated and posted on the growth of my peppers also I have uh, as I mentioned earlier, I have seeds germinating right now. Um, seeds I have, I have basil, which the seed pack I got, it didn't say what the variety of basil was. It just said basil. So I'm assuming it's like Genovese basil, possibly. Um, here's my dog coming to say hi. Um, <laughs> so I have holy basil, which is known as Tulsi growing or germinating regular basil um what else do i have also have lavender germinating right now so that's cool um and i think that's pretty much it from as far as i rem can remember um so after they germinate i'm gonna put them under the grow light and then keep you guys updated on that progress um but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, if you guys do get a grow light and you don't get this grow light, at least make sure that it has at least 5,000 lumens and 5,000 Kelvin. Because that's perfect. Uh, that's very, very bare minimum for um, growing with grow lights. Um, anything less than that in your plants, they're going to struggle to grow for sure. Um, so man i got a lot of visitors today i got my cat over there too coming in to say hi <laughs> uh, this isn't my room this is just like a little storage room but it's a good place for my grow lights um anyway guys um it's late so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video um so yeah, if you guys you guys want to, um, and you guys have the patience for it, I would definitely recommend uh, growing and uh, try growing indoors with grow lights. Um, anyways, guys, it's been me, Flatter Sage. Love y'all. Hope everyone's doing well. Peace.